Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. We left off last episode preparing for a war on Arakan to our north, former allies, and now future enemies. And hopefully this goes well. I do have, uh, my, you know, my own 11k stack, this 6k stack, and this 8k stack to work with, and a okay general. So I'm not super concerned. Uh, my first thing to do is going to be... That's not good. Is going to be uh, to attack these guys. That's really bad. They rivaled me. Corruption. I'll take the corruption hit right now. Uh, let's see. Diplomacy. Why are we... I'm a valid rival for them. They're ten times stronger than me. Well, at least I have uh, allies because that will come to my aid in any defensive war. Theoretically. All right. Because I'm pretty sure these guys. Well, let's let's take a look here. D Diplomacy, declare war. They're gonna go. They're gonna come to war. What I think I'm gonna do is siege down their capital first before anything else. I think that's a good idea. Get them, you know, out of the war and taken care of. Um, do we want to declare the war now, or wait till we get military tactics? That's another 110 points. That's a, that's a few. Well, let's bring this in now. Fort Defense, Discipline. Discipline. Well, we can we can take it some sometime in the middle of the war. The only thing I'm worried about is these guys stabbing me in the back. Because if they declare war on me, uh, there's not much I can do to stop them. Let's try to keep our, our relations high. I, I can't ri rival them in terms of military power. Alright, so let's get this start let's get this started. Ooh, now now I'm more <laughs> I, they've got me nervous. I want that I, now I want those military tactics. Ooh. Well you're not gonna join me. Three three one. I wish I had a three three one. Now I really want those military tactics. Uh, what we can do to get that going a little bit further is to focus as well. Uh, so we're at plus eight. And we got our... That, well, that's good. We did get our... What's it called? Built. That should have given us a little bit more. Yeah, we, we got us 2% or more trade power here. Uh, trade power minus absent merchant. Minus ten. Ooh. Let's maintain that diplomat over there to keep those relations high. That Viet and Tengu. But I'm going to take out Tengu. That's a... Oh, God. Pasai, Malacca, maybe? I need to get an ally that will scare them. And if I if I could get these guys to not join them in the war, that would be... That would definitely be something. Uh, let's recall that diplomat. They don't like me. Oh, we're rivals, aren't we? No, just allied rivals. No, because they're not a valid rival anymore. Forgot about that. <sighs> this is gonna get scary. Oh, as soon as the corruption's gone, we should be good in terms of our economy. Yeah. Because root out corruption went away. So now we're in the positive there. We're almost there. So we're going to get the, the morale, and we're going to get the military tactics. I'm assuming nobody else has it. And we're going to... Because I, I I want every tiny little bit that I... Of... Of, um... Uh, advantage I can get above these guys. Every tiny bit. And half a, half a point of morale... Uh, ooh, actually we got this one. Um, Let's bank that for now. There we go. Let's bank that for now. Alright, good. And now we're going to start this up. Diplomacy. Declare war. Uh, will not be called into your war. Will be called into your war. That's exactly what we want. I'm kind of shaking. I'm nervous. 
because I, I have a bad feeling that these guys are going to try to take advantage of this situation, but we'll try. All right, confirm. Well, oh, there it is. I was about to say, why didn't they join in? They did. It just took a sec. All right, so they've got a two, oh, four. But their, their army is going to get wrecked, so. Yeah, morale is low. My military tactics is a pretty big advantage. Okay, good. Let's... Who's this? Hava. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And... Let's see. They're gonna get their two armies together. Uh, you are sitting there doing nothing, which I don't like. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So, are, what are you guys gonna do? Who's gonna fight? Someone's gonna fight here. Kwasi and Mong. There we go. So we're gonna go in there too to help. Boom. And then they're gonna come in and help. And hopefully this will be a decisive battle. Decent. Oh, they've got 105%. Oh, they rolled zero. I was say, hopefully this will be a decisive battle here. A pretty good one. Is that these guys? So now let's go over here and see if we can stack wipe them. Oh, they're gonna head over this way because we need stack wiping them is going to be what's important here. Get their armies gone and away. Oh, you know what we should do? Take the war goal first. All right, so we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Tangu. All right, get the war goal. Now let's do Tangu. I, I'm calling him Tangu. Tw I, I don't think that's the correct pronunciation. Twangu? I think the goo part's right. See, that's not dragging other people in, no. These guys I'm not interested in fighting, basically. I don't really care about them. I want to take out this guy. I want to take out this guy. That will help me in the region pretty, pretty well. So what we're going to do is knock these guys out, and we're going to take them over, because they're a pain, frankly, they're a pain in the butt. Take the ducket hit. I'm saving, banking my admin points, because I want to make sure I have enough to do all the annexations I need. Truce with Lana has ended. Oh, that's fine. And then we're going to have to go over here. They got an army, they got a stack, uh, set up, but I don't want to... Well, we just wa breached the walls here, I don't want to give that up. Food shortage. Oh, they're gonna take that back, that makes sense. Alright, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is go to Tangu. We're gonna sue for peace. And we're gonna go, like, treaties. Uh, we're gonna just gonna take them. Oh no, they won't they won't accept that. Alright. They will not accept that. Cross a river into a jungle. Sounds like a bad idea. Oh, let's see, where is there oh who's here? Mon Yang is there too, with five thousand men. So they're gonna try to take this. Can I vassalize them? I could vassalize them, but I don't wanna do that. That's the thing. What about Mong? If I can knock Mong out, because I'd, I'd, wait, I'd wait piece them out. Well, we have 85% war score there. And then... Oh, that's 70... There we go. Then we could accept that. That would give that to these guys. Uh, we'll see that to Asi. That's that's exactly what we want. That would that would get those five thousand men out. Send demand. So let's do that. That would get them out. So that's nine thousand now. I will take a negative. I take like a negative three doing that. That's the bad thing. So let's try. Wait, are they? Ava declared war on them, too. That's bad.
That's not good for me. All right, let's t let's try let's try this again. Super piece. Take it. And any money they have, pay for the war. Send demand. Good. Fine. All right. Let's core that. I knew that was going to be expensive. Uh, rival of our rival. Get Ava on our side. Ooh. I guess we could try that. Don't necessarily want to, but we'll try it. All right. That's good. And let's see. Ooh. If they move out, what we'll do, uh, let's see. Detach siege. Send these over here. Like so. Who's ah, they got there first. Or well, who's who's it gonna go to? Attacker Ava. That's not good. Yep. Shit. That's problematic. Slightly. Eh, it could be worse. We'll see what happens. They might not want territorial concessions. And I think once I take this, they're going to peace out. Walls breached, good. Well, maybe like a month or two after it. Because if they know they can't get any further... I knew that one was going to be pricey. 16 development. 10. And this one was pretty good too, Show Province. 10. So they're all going to, you know, they're all pricey to a uh, core. All right, so let's see what they want. What is their peace deal? Their peace deal sucks. Decline that. It was occupied by an enemy in another war, so they won't... Can I... Oh, I went to the wrong one. Let's... What if I did this? That will put me... That will drag me into a war with Ava. Who's got how many men in the field? And are they in involved in other wars too? Well, let's let's sit on it. Uh, let's let's sit on it. Move you over here. They've got ten thousand men in the field. That's the thing. They're involved with other wars. Oh, they're Mong Yang. Is that who they're at war with? Yeah. Banditry in Martaban. Gain karma, lose 50 military power. Gets popular bandit until 1821. Local unrest sets to the end of the game. Or, oh, wow. No matter what. Wow. Where's Martaban? <laughs> lose karma. Well, this one is local tax modifier down, so no matter what. Oh, God, that's awful. I hope that an event comes to get rid of that, because... Popular Bandit 4? That sucks. 4. Do I want to get dragged into a war with these guys right now, is the thing. Damn it. That's, that's, that's a problem. And who are they allied with? Let's get rid of this. Close that. Who are your, who are your allies? Huesi and Kachar. That's up there. They're at plus 72, so I kind of want to wait on this and see what they do. They may not take it. They may be more interested in going up here. I mean, we're, we're fine right now, just kind of sitting here. 
Just want to know what air falls ill. Oh no. Well, my air kind of sucks. Pray for his life. Oh, really? I kind of wanted him to die. 25% chance to survive and he lived. Let's take a quick look at the ledger here and look at Ava armies. Ava. We got 12,000 men in the field, so they're definitely winning. What is the war score? War score's only... Oh, they pieced out up there. And they can't get any more war score. I can't get any more war score. Well, let's see. Let, let, let's do this. We gotta, we gotta get this over with. So I can't take that. I can, I can vassalize the rest. Right there. And then go up to, and, and that gets me in a war with Ava. And they're, they're pre-existing weakened right now. Let's do it. So let's let's do this. We'll siege this down. Impose new tariff. Whoa, two and a half mercantilism. Take it. Oh, these guys pieced out. Who's gonna get there first? Well, you know what? We need to get in there. Oh, shit. Thank you, bastards. Uh, I thought they would stay in the war with me. Eh, oh well. Influence. I can't call them in, can I? They will not accept. Shiza. So they're gonna sit there. I can't take a I can't afford to take a crossing penalty. Well, two and two, so it's equal. All right. So this is the thing. Oh, what is their military tech? Oh, they got the same military tech as me. Okay, so we're fighting on even an even playing field. They got eight and four. I've got nine and two. Let's do it. We got it. We, we need to win the war. So, and, and, and a decisive battle will do it for us. If these guys joined in the attack, it, you know, we'd be fine. The problem is, is what are the odds of those bastards joining in when we needed it? And they're going to go up there and siege that down. That's jungle. They're on supportive. Well, well now they're moving. So let's see where they go. Jungle, grasslands. I'm assuming they're going to head towards my capital. Guess not. Let's move over here. See what happens. Okay. May 31st, so let's start moving. Alright, this is where we're going to fight. We'll let them uh, wear themselves out against the uh, the, the my allies for a little bit first, and then we'll, we we got involved here. Uh, morale is the same, tactics the same. We have slightly more discipline. Good, and they don't have any real big fortresses or anything like that, so we should be able to chase them through this way because we need to stack wipe them. Yeah, we need to we need to go this way. If we if we want to try to stack white, we need to get up that way. But we can't get up there is the thing. They got to be up here. How far did they go? Robber barons. Oh no. Gain base production or base tax in Martaban. So, let's take a look at development screen. 
Martaban. Well, that's Chinaware. Let's do that. They've gone. They went all the way up here. Yeah, so their morale is still low. I'll take the penalties to stack wipe them. Levy the tax. Or... Okay, let's see where we where we sit on that. Yeah, I know it's high. Um, karma is negative 17, so we want the karma. Bring that up. Oh, we didn't we didn't stack wipe them. That sucks. Oh, I, th I honestly thought we would. I guess their uh, what's it called wasn't low enough. No, still nothing. All right, chase him. Well, let's, uh, let's give our, because we got their army hamboned, so let's tell our subjects, who hate us, uh, let's tell you guys to... Aggressive. Siege as much as possible. We gotta stack wipe this guy. It doesn't look like we're, we're having much luck there. I think that one might do it, though. Nope! Just, t just running around. Taken huge attrition. And they keep getting that army together. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that's grasslands at least. Come on, get him that time. Nope. Still nothing. Need to core that. Forgot about it. Still nothing. Alright, so they're up here now. Oh, they went over here. Well... Let's, let's start taking out their... their places to run to. By doing this. Yeah. Boom. Do they actually win? How are they possibly not stack wiping? They're just bringing in more um, mercenaries, I think, over and over and over again. Because there's no way they have anybody left. They still have manpower in the bank, but they have nine regiments of mercenaries hired. Taking the negative two penalty here, which is a bad idea. Considering they got really good rolls, and I got some pretty poor ones. Come on, allies. Where are you? Did these guys stack wipe? Alright, I guess we'll, uh, we'll sit over here and siege. I cannot believe the- I had, I never stack wiped those guys. They just keep hiring in more mercenaries, too. So we'll sit here, get the- get our troops back, and we'll siege this down. This war has, um, been a lot- What the hell?! 10,000 men from where?! Well, 8,000 of them are mercenaries. Alright, let's uh, consolidate our regiments. And we need uh, we only got 11,000 men in the field now. Let's reduce our war score. I mean, we gotta get the, our war exhaustion. We gotta pay to get that down. Otherwise, we're gonna have separatists rising up. Uh, let's take care of that. Do we have somebody who does unrest? National unrest. Let's do that. And let's hire in more mercenaries. God damn these bastards. Chasing their armies around for God knows how long. Missionary strength, accepted culture threshold, that's fine. That'll help later on.
Never chasing them around for God knows how long while they just kept non stack wiping. Who's taking this? Occupied by Pegu. Oh! Lana. These guys. Oh, we're, we almost got this one down. And then if we play it defensively, we should be fine. The only problem is, is these guys might declare war on me at any second, and I have no military left. So that's my vassal now. Call to arms. Do it. Confirm. Confirm that call to war. And who else? Guy's gonna do it. Are they at war? With Ava, yeah. They're at war. Who's this? Military access, yes. Oh, there they go. Alright, so they're basically occupied. I'm gonna take their capital. Beloved heir dies. Okay, that's fine. Gain a temple. That's a free temple. An ooh, a noble. That's a five three one with a weak. Cl oh, I don't like a weak claim though. We can get. We got all these royal merit. I'll take the temple. And yeah, look at that. New heir. A, a two six a two three six. Comes to power. So everything's occupied, except for these two right now. Are they peacing out? They're, they want to peace out. We're going to reject that. Because I want to take th these two right here, I think. Oh, nice. Defender's Dessert. We rolled a 13. So close. Where are the other... Where are my allied armies? Yeah, they don't want to fight me now. Thankfully, I, I, my economy is good enough that I have not gone into debt. I haven't taken out any loans yet. If their capital falls, I mean, it's going to be disaster. Oh, there's my allies right there. I was to say, that's going to be a pretty big disaster for them. They've got a two. I've got a two, so I would take that penalty. So, okay, we accepted... Accepted battle. They rolled a 9 right off the bat. That's rough. I, they rolled a 0 that time. A 5, a 4, an 8, but... Oh, a 9, but it, it wasn't enough. One enough. And this is the only place they have to go to, so we should be able to stack wipe them this time. What? Okay. They shouldn't be able to retreat into occupied provinces and then not stack wipe. Oh, we got them that time. Thank God. Um, the sta it, seems, it always seems to be like the stack wiping. Uh, well, at least some mechanics, not only stack wiping. Um, they don't apply to the AI the same way they apply to the player. But, I mean, that's pretty standard across the board. Non-enforcement of ordinances. Uh, autonomy. That's not a big deal. All right, so before we do the peace deal, uh, we're going to end this episode because we're running a little long. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.